conductor has to have a uniquely deep understanding of the music, the sound of the music, the style of the music, the pace of the music. And they have to have a particular ability, which is a very mysterious thing, actually, to communicate that knowledge and that understanding to a whole lot of people, like an orchestra of 60 or 70 people. A great opera director is someone who understands all the aspects of the opera. It's great to have somebody who, who, have a, who has a very strong opinion, who knows the meaning of the story and doesn't hesitate to bring it to the audience. But it cannot be strong without a collaboration between a conductor and the stage director. David is sensitive about music and the production reacts on music. It's very much connected to, to what we are doing in, in the pit. We conceived this Russian repertoire as a way of commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Russian Revolution. So these are pieces really that reveal a lot about the Russian character. With House of the Dead we have Russia in chains, I call it, with you know, the long and ongoing history of Russian imprisonment and the impact of that on Russian culture and society. And in Kovanchina we have Russia the mystic, you know, because it ends with this religious fundamentalist leading everyone into a mass suicide. A lot of operas kind of represent the state on the stage in a way in which, in which, well, in the way in which Shakespeare plays do as well. And there's a lot of similarity with Shakespeare in, in Covanchina in particular. <laughs> Janacek and Mazorksky are profoundly linked in stylistic or their approaches to music and what music drama can do. It's astonishing to have these two pieces together. The two pieces have titanic scores. People's happiness, people's suffering, people's faith, people's violence, all of the aspects of life. He's such an inspiring conductor with such a ferocious energy and ability to galvanize the performers. You know, you should brace yourselves for a, for a very exciting experience.